Brothers and sisters in Christ, may the Lord give you peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let me start with a personal note or experience of the last few days. Two weeks ago, I met for the last time my brother Pius. And when I took leave, I blessed him with the sign of the cross on his forehead, knowing that most probably I would not meet him again in this world. And three days later, I made a pilgrimage to Our Lady of Einzel. It's the biggest Marian shrine in Switzerland, where another of my, a brother of mine is buried and recommended pious to the intercession of Our Lady and also of my brother monk already passed away some years ago. Because, and that is important, our whole family had a special report relation to this sanctuary. And she, Our Lady, is actually an expert in dealing with questions of life and death. That is why we pray in the Ave Maria, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. And indeed, a few days later, my brother passed away peacefully after a life marked not only by joys, but a lot of sufferings. My dear friends, our whole life is a passing not only through joys and marvels, we know that, but equally through sufferings, dangers, and risks. We can only pray that we may never stumble in a way that we cannot get up anymore. That's why we pray in the Hail, Holy Queen. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve, to thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. And when the struggle comes to an end, we continue, turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Because he is the one that we want to see one day forever. Our life is full of risk, and being a faithful follower of Jesus Christ means entering an adventure not only full of joy and happiness, but equally full of fear and faint-heartedness. And on this our journey, truly, we need an experienced mother and an experienced advocate whom we can trust. And this is our lady. Today, we celebrate the patronal feast of this parish. We, pre we, we, we celebrate the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the Eastern churches, they call it Dormition, or the falling asleep of the Mother of God. On this feast, we profess that she is with body and soul already where one day we too hope to be. She is a reliable guidepost and companion on our journey. At the beginning of her vocation, she heard the greeting of the angel Gabriel, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Do not be afraid. These words mark the beginning of a rather turbulent life journey. The first travel led her to the hill country of Judah, where Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in loud voice, as we heard today, 
Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Blessed are you who believed. A word spoken not only to Mary, but to each one of us. Blessed are you who believe. The life of Mary was anything but easy. It was full of obstacles and trials. The unpleasant conditions around the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, the flight to Egypt, the difficulties to understand the prophetic and messianic vocation of her son, and finally the passion and the death of Jesus on the cross. We find the secret of her life in her faithfulness and in her trust. As Elizabeth said in occasion of Mary's visit in Judah, blessed are you who believed. Believe means put the trust in the Lord. The community of the church understood very soon in the early centuries that this faith of the Virgin Mary and her role in the salvific history did not finish with the tragedy she suffered under the cross, but with the Easter victory of her son as well as with the assumption of herself to the glory in heaven. Her journey started with an act of faith and trust and was completed full of grace at the destination we profess in the creed every Sunday, the resurrection of the death and the life of the world to come. Do you still believe that? There are so many, even Christians, who don't believe it anymore. But the Virgin Mary is given us as a promise. Sisters and brothers in Christ, Today is therefore not only the great solemnity of Our Lady, but also the feast of our own faith and of our own personal and communitarian future. Where Mary already is, we also shall be. There is no obstacle on our way that we cannot overcome if we renew every day the faith Elizabeth praised in Mary. Blessed are you who believe that what spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Blessed we all if we believe. We shall reach the same destination as Mary. And that means the everlasting communion with the risen Lord and that we are now rehearsing in the Holy Eucharist, where he will be already with us in a hidden form. Amen. <laughs>